What is up guys, Tyler here, and I'm back with another 2020 prediction video. Now today, I'm going to be doing the Florida State Seminoles. Now the Seminoles of Florida State have not been good these past couple of seasons. I think they have a combined record of under 500 for the past three years. And say what you want about Florida State. Florida State is one of the better programs in ever. Uh, they came off a national title in 2013 under Jimbo Fisher. Uh, now, what, 2017, Jimbo Fisher, I think they went, what, 7-5 and five with him, 7-6. and six. Uh, Then he left for Texas A&M. Uh, say what you want about Texas A&M. But he's done a great job at Texas A&M for recruiting. They're probably one of the better teams in the country just based off of that roster talent. Now, Florida State is returning James Blackman at QB. I think there should be a QB battle. I don't think Blackman has proven enough for Florida State. Uh, he had, what, 2,400 yards last year, 17 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. Not great numbers there. But they have a star on that offensive side in Tamarian Terry. Now, Tamarian Terry almost had 1,200 yards receiving last year. Uh, in some of these games, he I think he had over 200 yards in their first game against Boise State. But I think he is going to be very, very good this year. Probably one of the better wide receivers in the ACC, if not the best wide receiver in the ACC now since uh, Justin Ross got hurt. Um, but anyway, they obviously lost Cam Akers. So they got to uh, improve on that running back position. I don't know what to expect from the running backs, but their defense, they had a decent pass rush last year. Actually had a pretty solid pass rush, getting 32 sacks. Bringing back Marvin Wilson was huge. Amari Gardner, uh, Leonard Walker, and this team, I think, will be better on both sides of the ball this year. Now, based on roster talent, and this is per Athlon Sports rankings. They do a rankings every year uh, of the team's Past five recruiting classes do an average recruiting rank there. Florida State is 12th in the nation. Second best in the ACC, guys. So, based on that stat line, they should be one of the better teams in the ACC, if not even a top 25 team in the country. Now, last year they had the 60th. They were ranked 60th, my bad, in total offense. Not great. That's probably like an average but defense, this was a little bit shocking for a Florida State fan. You ranked 90th in total defense. Yes, you did have 32 sacks, like I said before, but still not good at all. So now let's go look at their schedule for this season, and let's go predict their record for 2020. So looking at Florida State's record for this year, they have a tough first couple of games. Really, the schedule isn't uh, the easiest at all. Uh, but they do play West Virginia, I believe, in Atlanta in a neutral siding game. Then they play an FCS team in Sanford on the road against Boise State. This is going to be a very, very tricky game. On the road against NC State, they play Clemson. Then Wake Forest, two home games in a row. Then on the road against Louisville. Then at home against Pittsburgh. Look out for Pitt this year. On the road against Miami. Then play Boston College. Then on the road against Syracuse to finish off the year against Florida. So looking at this schedule, it's quite tricky schedule. Their first game of the year, they play West Virginia. Now, West Virginia, I believe they're going to have a QB battle this year uh, between Jarrett Dodge and uh, Austin Kendall. I think whoever wins that battle will be pretty good this year. They also have that solid running back in Letty Brown. And TJ Simmons is still on that roster, I believe. But West Virginia lost quite a bit on both sides of the ball. Originally, I think thought West Virginia could probably win this game, but after thinking about it, I'm actually going to go Florida State here in a very close game. I think uh, West Virginia will be pretty good offensively this year, uh, at least better than last year. I'm worried about that defense because they lost quite a bit. I think Florida State should win this game, maybe even by a couple of scores, but I have you winning by a close possession, maybe a field goal. I do expect Florida State to struggle early, especially on the offensive side, because I think, at least in my opinion, I don't know what to expect from their QB and their O-line this year. Moving on, you do play Sanford. That should be a win. But here is the game that I'm worried about for Florida State. It's probably going to be like a 330 game at least, 
later in the day, probably even 8, maybe even 9 or 10, because you do play on the road against Boise State Week 3. Now, Boise State does not have a tough schedule at all. If you're looking at their schedule, I mean, it's ridiculously easy. But this is the game that uh, neither team could really afford to lose. But if you're looking at Boise State trying to play for maybe a New Year's Six, this is a game they can't lose. I'm very high on uh, Boise State. I think Boise State is probably one of the better group of five teams in the country. Um, I love that Hank Brockmeyer guy. I'm going to pick Boise State to win this game. I'm sorry. I just think due to the times, uh, I mean, this is going to be probably a later game, uh, but due to the time, due to where they have to play on that blue turf, uh, this game will be rocking. And get this, the ticket price at for this game at Boise State is already $126. Uh, I think it's because of the crowd. Obviously, it won't be as popping as usual uh, or as of right now. But I do have Boise State winning this game. Now they do play NC State on the road. Say what you want about NC State. I just don't think they're that good, honestly. Yes, they do have probably average talent on that roster. Um, I just don't like what I see from that offensive side. I'm going to give Florida State a win. This is probably going to be a sluggish defensive game. I think Florida State can win this one by two possessions. And now the Clemson game. We talked about this last week. Um... I think I had Clemson winning this game by like two or three scores. I do expect this to be a relatively close game in the first half. I think I said it would be like that Louisville game where it was like 17 to 3 or 17 to 10 at like the half. And then Clemson will roll. So there is your second loss. Now then you get Wake Forest. I don't expect a lot from Wake Forest this year. You've done quite well when you have played Wake Forest. I think you did end up losing to them last season on the road. Get them at home this year. I don't think this will be uh, that much of a game. I do expect Florida State to win this one. I think Wake Forest's defense will have a problem this year. So give me Florida State now. You do play on the road against Louisville. We talked about this when I did Louisville's uh, preview uh, prediction video. And I had you winning. And I had, and like I said, I think you are going to win this game. This is going to be a really close game. You've done quite well against Louisville since Lamar Jackson. Obviously, when Lamar Jackson was there, you lost, I think, twice. But now that he's gone, you've beaten Louisville without a problem. Uh, like I said, I think this game will be pretty close. I just think your defense will be just too much for Louisville. Now, here is a tough home game against Pitt. It's probably your second toughest home game, excluding the Clemson game. Come on now. Uh, but Pittsburgh, I, again... I talk very highly about Pitt's offense. I think this is going to be one of the better offenses in the ACC. Defensive-wise, it's a question mark. Because it's a question mark, I'm going to give you the win. I also think your offense will start to click at this point in time. I also like what I see from Florida State's defense. Like I said, I think their pass rush is going to be a lot better this year. Um, so I'm going to take Florida State at home. Now here's the Miami game. Say what you want. I said yesterday this was going to be a really close game. I think both these teams are pretty uh, equal. Um, I just think because De'Aaron King is going to be Miami's QB, I think he will be too much for Florida State. I'm going to take Miami in a pretty good uh, game. I think, like I said yesterday, it will be relatively defensive. And then probably towards the end... They will start scoring more. So, and I think I had it like a 23-20 game yesterday. So that's, I'm going to still stick with that. And I'm going to take Miami. Then you play Boston College. Now, say what you want about Boston College. I don't think uh, Boston College will be that good. Um, I think, you know, they're on a down season for sure. Lost, you know, Anthony Brown. Lost their head coach. I'm going to take Florida State big. Uh, there's, there should be no reason why this game should be any close, uh, but I'm going to take you to win this game to get to 7-3. and three. Then we talked about this game on the road against Syracuse. I'm not high on Syracuse like most people are. I think Syracuse has potential to get to 7, 8, 9 wins, but I just don't see it. I'm going to take Florida State to win this game in a very close one. And then finally, they do play Florida. As much as 
I don't want to give Florida credit. Florida's going to win this game. Now, it's going to be closer than last year and the year before that. And probably, uh, well, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot closer. I think it's going to be a two-possession game. But you got to look at the Florida offensive talent way better than Florida State's uh, defensive talent, just in my opinion. I think, Flor- I think Florida State will get some stops, but I'm going to take Florida to win like a 31-17 to game. So I have you going 8-4, and 6-2 and two in conference play. That is good enough to get you second place in the Atlantic Division. Uh, obviously, Clemson, I have number one uh, at 12 and 0. Then you right there at 8 and 4, 6 and 2. So I think that will be a relatively good season for Florida State. I think 8 and 4 is where Florida State needs to get this year. You got to look at that roster talent. Mike Norvell has gotten himself into an okay situation with that roster talent, but the culture issues for Florida State is the key. If he can turn this locker room around, I think, and and get them to respect him, unlike they did to uh, Willie Target, I think this Florida State team could be very, very good this year. I do. I am going to spot you some losses. Uh, obviously, I did the Boise State game. Could you lose the West Virginia game? Yes. Uh, I think early on in the year you will struggle. Now, I obviously had you starting three and two, but then finishing eight and four. So that's not that bad. But I could see you starting a little bit worse. I think you got to finish strong this year. Uh, now, I know your schedule is not the easiest. You still have to play Pitt, uh, Miami, Clemson, obviously, Florida, uh, West Virginia. You say what you want about them. Uh, Boise State, Wake Forest could be better than I think. I think Louisville is going to be pretty good. So that, Ross, so that schedule is not easy at all. But... Let me know what you guys think uh, Florida State's record's going to be for this season. Do you think they're going to be an 8-4 team like I do? Do you think they're going to be a little bit better, a little bit worse? Just let me know. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share this content. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next prediction video. Peace.